Hi, I'm Terry. Welcome to another video. Today we're heading about an hour and a half north of Melbourne to the old gold mining town of Heathcote. Uh, we're going to see some amazing pink cliffs and go for a little bush walk in some box iron bark forest. Uh, come on, let's go. Here we are at Pink Cliffs. I've actually never been here before, so I don't know what to expect. I've seen a couple of photos online, um, but I guess we're going to find out real soon. It's only a short walk, apparently. Hey. See you later. Pink cliffs, white cliffs, yellow cliffs. This place kind of has them all. So, I don't know what makes it pink. Mineral deposits, I'm guessing. They used to gold mine here back in the 1800s, uh, looking for alluvial gold. When that ran out, they went off to other gold, gold fields. So, is it worth coming? Yeah, sure, of course, why not? A couple hours north of Melbourne, a couple hours drive, and uh, come to Heathcote, have a look at the pink cliffs.
So this is Heathcote, about an hour's drive north of Melbourne, 130k I think it is, former gold mining town, just a quiet little town these days. All this wandering around means it's time for a lunchtime coffee. And this cute lounge looks like a likely place. Now I'm in the Heathcote Grays Town National Park. Pretty dry. Um, it's a nice little view over the valley. I've got to watch where I'm going. It's rocky. And um, and this is a little walk to Powder Magazine. I've got no idea what that is. We'll find out when we get there. Yeah, little little on the rocky side. Yeah, last week I was in uh, Badger's Weir, lots of lush tree ferns. Here it's very different, very dry. Uh, box iron bark, I think it's mostly what you find around here. Uh, not very big trees. So this is the powder magazine, built in 1864, I guess that's where they stored all the gunpowder, back in the height of the gold mining days here in Heathcote. Let's go in, have a look. Aside from the graffiti, it's actually pretty cool. Not sure, I'm just guessing, but maybe that's where gunpowder kegs were stored. And uh, the whole building is double walled, so if there was an accidental explosion, it probably would destroy the building, but hopefully not much else. Kind of cool. I like it. It's actually nice and cool in here too after being hot outside and walking through that bush. It's um, cool. Hey, make a great tiny house.
looking great out the back some old gold mining machinery come and have a look So time's moving on. It's getting later in the afternoon. I think it's maybe time to start thinking about a sunset somewhere. But I gotta stop for this beautiful old tin shearer shed. Such a beautiful day. Let's see if we can make one last stop. Um, gonna head to Mount Alexander, see if we can catch a sunset from there. time how gorgeous is that magnificent lookout on the top of mount alexander hey that's all for this week thanks for coming along for the ride i wasn't going to come up here but um because i thought i'd be cutting it fine but i'm really glad i did how cool is that lookout and we kind of mostly got the sunset all the after effects so i'm really glad it came up hey catch you next time on whoa wait a minute catch catch you in the next video thanks for watching